Nickelodeon has a reputation for producing fun and timeless cartoons that have become favorites of many millennials. Many of Nickelodeon cartoons are considered cult classics, and some are even watched today by the same audience who is now all grown up. The run of hits began in the 1990s, with Rugrats and Doug paving the way for the future. One of the most popular to come since was SpongeBob SquarePants, which has continued to produce new episodes and expand the universe through films and spin-off shows. However, one of the cons of re-watching those cartoons all over again is the possibility to catch sight of some of the errors that have stood there hidden for years. Though the cartoons on Nickelodeon are often fast-paced, that style couldn't cover up some mistakes. No animator is perfect, and it can happen to the best, so all the cartoons mentioned on this list can certainly be forgiven for these small and insignificant, for many even unnoticeable mistakes. So, without further ado, let's have a look at 9 hidden mistakes in Nickelodeon TV shows. Squidward, you're making a big mistake! Mistake? Ha! The only mistake I ever made was wasting my life at the Krusty Krab. But a visit to the Krusty Krab makes everyone happy. And what could be better than serving up smiles? One of the most memorable Nick cartoons of the 90s is Hey Arnold. Following the adventures of an orphan 10 year old and his close group of friends, its subject often touches on some very real and serious issues through many emotional episodes. The cartoon has had a few of the animation issues, such as characters changing colors or even missing limbs. But during an episode called Girl Trouble, there was one mistake that was a little bit strange. This episode is often disliked by fans because of Helga going too far, being much crueler than usual, and not getting consequences for her actions. In one scene, Helga moves from her desk to a pencil sharpener on the other side of the room. But while she is sharpening her pencil, she turns around and looks at her class, which is where the error can be seen. Not only was the desk arrangement changed, but one of the students visible when she looks at Arnold is actually Helga. Though the scene changes quickly, by looking closely, it is quite obvious that the animators accidentally included Helga in the shot. I mean, I like Lila, but I don't like her like her. He doesn't like her like her. Oh, Arnold, so discriminating, so patient and thoughtful, spurning the golden... SpongeBob has proven many times that he lacks bones and that his flexible body can be maneuvered in many helpful situations. There are also many episodes in which SpongeBob is seen breaking a bone or producing a skeletal form. In a similar case, some episodes show that SpongeBob is made entirely of a sponge-like material, but in some cases, he doesn't even notice when a part of him is missing. In an episode called Rock Bottom, Patrick and SpongeBob enter the bus after visiting the Funtime Amusement Park Glove World. But while boarding the bus, Spongebob's right arm is seen missing for a few seconds until reappearing again once he starts moving. If you haven't noticed that, you have probably been busy watching the strange case of a glove underneath Spongebob's eyes. Near the end of the same episode, there is yet another mistake. When Spongebob arrives back to Bikini Bottom, Spongebob's pineapple is animated differently from the other buildings. Rock bottom. It sure is weird around here. Kinda different. Even the soil looks different. Would you mind putting me down? <gasps> Everyone who has watched Spongebob Squarepants knows how the colors of the main characters have always remained unmistakable to this day. However, that is not quite the case with some supporting characters. During the episode called Pets or Pests, Spongebob is forced to sabotage a garbage truck to save the worm babies, angering some garbage men. He found a worm in a bush and decided to claim it as a new pet and named it Mrs. Wormsley. But Mrs. Wormsley proceeded to give birth to her worm babies, and Spongebob was stuck with a whole family of worms like creatures. However, when one of the garbage men goes to wipe the slime off Spongebob's face, he is blue. But in the next scene, he turns green when he shows the slime to the other garbage man. I never knew you felt so strongly about this. Where have you been? Well, 
Over the years, the Rugrats have gone on many fun adventures, one of which happened to be in Las Vegas. The Pickles family thought it would be fun to take their babies to experience the glitz and glam while swimming in the indoor heated pools. In one of the first scenes in the episode called Vacation, Tommy is seen in his bathing suit and some swimmers while hanging out with Phil, Lil, and Chucky. However, when Dee Dee shows up to pick up Tommy and say goodbye, all of a sudden Tommy is wearing his recognizable blue t-shirt. But in the very next clip, the shirt disappears again. During the same episode, Stu wore a t-shirt and shorts and Tommy wore pajamas when the gang arrived in Vegas. But when they reached the reservation clerk at the hotel, Stu and Tommy wore their usual clothes. Afterwards, Tommy was back in his pajamas through the pool scene while Stu was back in his t-shirt and shorts. This next mistake is not the animator's fault, but rather an underseen fact-based error by the show's creators. During the 11th episode of season 3 of The Fairly Odd Parents, called The Secret Origin of Denzel Crocker, Timmy goes back in time to find out why his teacher Mr. Crocker hates March 15th so much. Every March 15th, Denzel Crocker reaches new heights in terror, so Timmy has had enough and goes back in time to discover it's the date Crocker lost his fairies when he was a kid. However, every time Timmy jumps through Time, he goes back 10 years from 2002 to 1992, 1982, and 1972. But some of the 80s references, such as Miami Vice, Flashdance, and Back to the Future, all came after 1982. Rocco's Modern Life is the show that really pushed some limits, especially the episode called Bedfellows. Heifer is forced out of his parents' house, so he decides to live with Rocco. However, the two roommates really have different lifestyles that eventually start to conflict with each other. It turns out Heifer likes to throw backyard nude parties, and Rocco doesn't seem too impressed. One day, when Rocco returns from work, he finds clothes strewn all over the place, and Heifer naked. So, when he steps into the backyard, someone rips the clothes off off him, leaving the little guy in just a pair of shoes. While the camera quickly goes through the backyard filled with nudists, it comes back to Rocco, which is now seen without his shoes as well. As Rocco was trying to cover up his wallaby parts, there was clearly no time to remove the shoes. Gerald is famous for always playing a supporting role to Arnold's adventures in the city, but in an episode called Gerald Moves Out, we find out something more about this supporting character. Gerald gets tired of his brother's wrestling moves, his sister ruining his stuff, his father always complaining about the electricity bill, and his mother always telling him what to do, so he decides to rent a room at the Sunset Arms. In one of the scenes, we see Gerald walking down the stairs only to catch his little sister destroying his cassette tape by using it to wrap her book. Books. However, the book she is wrapping at the moment magically changes color from blue to green as she puts it on the ground. This isn't even a different shot or a cutaway, it all happens at the same time. The adventures of Jimmy Neutron and his pals were truly out of this world. In a clever homage to horror movies, The Evil Beneath is a great episode of Jimmy Neutron where Jimmy, Carl, and Sheen are trapped in Dr. Moist's lair, who captures innocent tourists and turns them into algae men by inviting them to eat food with him. However, the episode features one big plot hole. The characters get trapped in the evil lair because their hover car runs out of gas, but when the time comes for Jimmy, Carl, and Sheen to escape, they hop right into the hover car and quickly escape out of there. Earlier, being out of fuel was the cause of the hover car's crash landing, but somehow it's been refilled to escape. It turns out the whole main plot was forgotten and ditched for a quick escape plan. Much to the fans' disappointment, Invader Zim only lasted two seasons. Its interesting storylines and hilarious dark humor appealed to many. Gaz and Dib are siblings whose relationship is very broken and rather dysfunctional, with Gaz bullying and abusing Dib, and Dib taking very little interest in Gaz or what she has to say. So, the next mistake is not quite an obvious one, and is surely a strange one concerning the odd relationship. In one episode where Dib accidentally made everything taste like pork, it seems like these siblings are holding hands, which would be extremely strange and would have been a rare and unexpected moment of affection. However, the creator of the series Jonin Vasquez himself confirmed that only happened as a result of an animation mistake. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day.
turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.